The start of the last decade of the 20th century made 1990 a noteworthy year. Coin collectors find it to be an intriguing target because of this. Moreover, there is psychological satisfaction in the 9S and 0S. Now let's investigate the 1990 quarter value and any additional elements that could improve its investment potential. Characteristics of the 1990 quarter Collectors and hobbyists may find it useful to understand the technical jargon used to describe a quarter's features. The head side is called the obverse, the tail side is called the reverse, the thin side is called the edge, the raised border is called the rim or collar, the words are called mottos or legends, the background is called the field, and the images or portraits are called devices. Planches are another name for the blank discs used to create coins. George Washington is depicted looking left. The slogan, In God We Trust, is located beneath his chin on the left, and the legend, Liberty, sits over his head. The coin's lower rim is where the mint date is located. John Flanagan, the coin creator, is identified by the letter JF, etched to the right of the neckline cutoff. A mint mark indicating the location is located to the right of Washington's ponytail. It depicts an eagle with its wings outstretched and tips downward. An olive wreath is coiled from one wing to the other beneath these tips. The wreath is below the face value, which is a quarter dollar. The slogan, E Pluribus Unum, is displayed above the eagle's head, between its wing bones, and it is clutching a bundle of arrows. United States of America is printed on the coin's top. The quarter's composition in 1990 was 8.33% nickel and 91.67% copper. The coin's outer layers had 25% nickel and 75% copper, while the center was made entirely of copper. The ancient coin's silver look is intended to be replicated by this cupronical covering. With 119 reeds around the edge, the 1990 quarter weighs 5.67 g and measures 24.3 mm in diameter by 1.75 mm in thickness. Below, they leach the copper. The 1990 quarter is graded using a variation of the Sheldon scale, just as all other coins. It uses terminology like poor, good, fine, circulated, and mint state to rank coins from 1 to 70. The grades of collectible coins are distinct. For example, PF or PR stand for proof, SMS is for special mint set, and SP stands for specimen or special strike. 1990 quarter value guides. 1. 1990 P quarter. The P mint mark was applied to Philadelphia coins, apart from pence, in 1990. 613,792,000 quarters were produced in that year. February 2021 saw the sale of an MS 67 quarter on eBay for $1,625. However, eBay pricing could not always fairly represent the state of the market. As of September 2023, PCGS values MS 67 quarters at $1,500 based on 15 graded coins. MS 66 plus quarters are worth $135 when there are 9 submissions, and MS 66 quarters with more than 100 submissions are $1.50. The value of an MS 65 quarter is only $1.7. 2. 1990 D quarter. In 1990, the Denver Mint produced 927,638,181 quarters bearing the D-Mint mark. Based on three graded coins, PCGs believes that the value of an MS 67 plus quarter, which sold for $1,440 on January 3, 2018, will reach $1,800 per coin as of September 2023. Nonetheless, the predicted value of a single coin with the highest grade to date. Mississippi 68 is $4,500 in 2023. While an MS 67 plus is valued at about $2,000, an MS 67 is only worth $235 in September 2023, with nearly 40 seen by PCGs. This illustrates how rarity affects coin pricing. Comparably, an MS 66 is worth $25 in September 2023 because there have been over 200 submissions. However, since there are only 7 coins in an MS66+, plus, its value doubles to $1.50. 3. 1990s Proof Quarter The San Francisco Mint first created proof coins with a mirror-like field and frosted devices in 1990. To get that glossy look, there are two methods. Before striking, the blank is first burnished by spinning it in a vat of six inlamous stainless steel balls. Secondly, 
to improve the glossiness of the field, horsehair is used to scrub the proof dye used to strike the coin. Furthermore, the frosted areas of the dye are either digitally laser textured or pickled in acid, before to 1970. Frost field contrast varies from deep cameo, the first 50 to 100 strikes, to cameo, to normal proofs as pickled dyes fade with each strike. 4. The Role of Rarity in Proof Coin Value The S mint mark was applied to 3,299,559 proof quarters made by the San Francisco Mint in 1990. The laser frosting on these coins produces the highest contrast possible between the shiny dye and the fuzzy field, earning them the grades of deep cameo or ultra cameo. However, because of their recent manufacture and wide availability, their prices have decreased. In May 2020, for example, a PR70 DCM sold for $329 on eBay. By September 2023, they are worth $1.26 apiece. With more than 6,000 submissions, PR69 DCM coins will be worth even less in 2023. $1.16. Uncommon quarter error list from 1990. Experts examine new coins for mint flaws that could increase their value during the first 30 days of circulation. A first strike, FS number, has been assigned to certain mint errors. If errors are found later, they can still be helpful, but FS errors are the most costly. Let us examine a few quarter errors from 1990, which include the proof FS101 DDO to examine. 1. 1990S proof quarter, DDO FS101. Double die obverse or DDO happens when the die shifts in between hub strikes, shifting the location of the second strike significantly. Then, in order to provide variation, this inaccuracy is repeated on every coin produced by that die. There are only two known instances of a coin with the grade PR70D cam, which sold for $7,050 in 2017 and is expected to be worth $5,500 in 2023. 2. 1990p quarter broad struck error. A coin's rim, sometimes referred to as its retaining collar, aids in maintaining its shape by guaranteeing consistency in thickness and width, which is necessary for a reliable face value and simple stacking. A broad strike mistake occurs when the collar becomes broadened, flattened, or distorted. An MS65 example that was graded went for about $1.35. 3. 1990p quarter double struck flip over in collar. This is an interesting error. The coin struck, flipped, and fell precisely in the same spot between the dies, yet it did not come out of the press. Consequently, certain reverse elements were stamped onto the obverse and vice versa, although the collar was not broad struck. This unusual error was evaluated at $1,400, even in the medium grade of AU58. 4. 1990. Quarter double struck 45% off center. This is a distinct kind of double strike. When the coin was struck a second time, it was already coming out of the press, creating overlapping designs. In addition, the coin has some deformation. It is impossible to determine the minting position because the second strike obscured the mint mark after rotating nearly 90 degrees. Two faults caused the cumulative value of the quarter in MS64 to increase to $280, the 1990 quarter's historical background. Two widely used American currencies are the $20 bill and the quarter, a 25-cent coin. The quarter's moniker comes from the fact that it stands for a quarter of a dollar. The origins of this portion may seem strange, but they go back to the colonial era, when the Spanish silver dollar was split into eight wedges known as bits. Deals were frequently priced at 2 bits or 2 bit, which, after the United States started printing its own money in 1792, came to be linked with 25 cents. The head side of the 25C coin. Despite his early reluctance to be portrayed on currency, George Washington, the first U.S. president, is depicted on the current quarter. Laura Garden Fraser created the portrait on the quarter in 1931 after winning a competition to redesign coins. Fraser, James Earl Fraser's wife and former pupil, created renowned coins both alone and in partnership. But at the time, Mint director Andrew Mellon decided on a different artist's design for the quarter. Some conjecture that factors like gender bias or Fraser's prior design's poor sales might have contributed to this choice. However, 
Fraser's painting of Washington was subsequently used onto the 2022 American Women's Quarter, the social justice of quarters. The quarter's extensive distribution has made it a symbolic forum for marking achievements and promoting social causes. Quarter series that promote coin collecting as a pastime and create awareness, such as the 50 states, D.C. plus territories, American women, and national parks, have been motivated by this visibility. Coin, token, metal, and paper money aficionados study, exhibit, and exchange these items. They are a major source of income for the U.S. Mint since they invest in collections, proofs, premium coins, and special edition banknotes. As a result, to raise money or commemorate important occasions, the Mint creates commemorative coins and series. We appreciate you viewing the video. I hope the material was interesting and useful to you. Until the next video, see ya!